This film is about item C5 on the poker rubric, all about rubrics and grading criteria. Like it or not, grades can be mysterious and scary for your students. In online classes, it can be difficult for them to gauge your expectations, what will get them the best grade, how do they go about fulfilling your expectations, Item C5 of the poker rubric makes certain that you, the teacher, are doing everything you can to make your expectations clear to your students so they can do their best work with no worries about their grade or the outcomes. Specifically, your reviewers will check for the use of Canvas rubrics that include multiple clear descriptive criteria, or if you don't use rubrics, that assignments and quizzes include clear descriptive grading criteria. Rubrics aren't just for grading. They're a powerful communication tool that provide clear measurable preparation process for students, provide time efficient consistent grading processes for you, means less time grading, fewer questions or complaints from students about their grades, and all of them can result in improved student performance in meeting your assignment standards and learning objectives. A good rubric has uh, three things, which is criteria, ratings, and a rating scale. So the rating scale is here, 5310 points. The rating criteria is here. All, answered, all questions answered correctly, thoughtful work, grammar and punctuation correct. And then within the rubric grid, there are uh, descriptions of what each criteria means. So a student can look at this and see if they want to get a perfect score. They need to answer questions correctly, include specific details and descriptions, um, make their posts at least 100 words and clearly understand the topic and demonstrate that understanding and have no grammatical or spelling errors. In other words, their work is proofread. So the student has no question looking at this scale about what they need to do to get an A and it puts the power in their hands. They can choose whether to get an A or not. They can choose whether or not to rush their work they can choose whether or not to respond with minimal effort. In this way, having the rubric lets your students that are interested in getting an A get that A by doing the work that you expect. If you don't use rubrics in your classes, you must have clear, detailed instructions in every assignment which tell students what criteria they will be graded on. So here you can see in a discussion post for one of my classes, I have bullet points which illustrate all the topics that I want the students to attack. Um, I say how long it should be, that it should use complete sentences and specific examples and details. They should address the post specifically and so on and so forth. And I even give an example of an A-level discussion post so the students can look at it and see how these criteria are being reflected in the A-level answer. Clear rubrics and assignment guidelines take the mystery out of grading and puts power directly in your students' hands. With each assignment, they can choose to excel simply by being aware of your expectations and making an effort to meet them. If you need help with rubrics, just ask your poker team for resources. They can help. Learning to do rubrics at first might be hard, but a well-done rubric is ultimately a thing of beauty for both students and instructors. Good rubrics and clear grading criteria provide your students with a set of guidelines to help them meet your expectations, and they provide you with a method to streamline your feedback and grading. It's a win-win for everyone, and that's why rubrics are part of the poker criteria.